Can we begin tonight keeping them honest on the campaign trail where attack ads are flying and so is the spin? Republican presidential nominee, or presumptive nominee, Mitt Romney today demanded that President Obama back off his attacks on Romney's record at Bain Capital, the private equity firm where he made his fortune. Recently, those attacks, as you know, have focused on when Romney actually left the firm. The Obama campaign claims Romney lied about his end date at Bain, even suggesting his actions could be criminal. Now, in a series of network and cable interviews on Friday, Romney accused the Obama campaign of stooping to new lows. In an interview that aired today on CBS This Morning, President Obama was asked about the negative ads his campaign has been running. Here's what he said. First of all, we've done a, a whole slew of positive ads that talk exactly about how we need to change our education system, how we need to change our tax code, how we need to rebuild America, uh, how we need to uh, promote American energy. So those just don't get attention in the news. Now, the president said they've run a whole slew of ads, uh, positive ads. We wanted, to think, we wanted to check and see if maybe we'd overlooked a slew of ads either candidate was running. So keeping them honest, we checked with CMAG, the consultants who track political ad spending for us. They told us that last week the Obama campaign aired negative ads more than 19,000 times and positive ads fewer than 150 times. In other words, less than 1% of their ads were positive. According to other reports, since the general campaign began, as many as three in four of President Obama's campaign ads have been negative. Three in four. Now, to be sure, both campaigns are playing hardball. During the two weeks ending July 9th, about 89% of Obama's ads carried an anti-Romney message, and 94% of Romney's ads criticized President Obama. That's, again, according to CMAG. Those are the numbers. The Obama campaign, however, is spinning a very different narrative where the word negative doesn't really exist. Over the weekend, Obama campaign spokesman Jen Psaki said they wanted to have a, quote, highbrow debate about uh, what Americans really care about. But keep in mind, all weekend long, they instead focused on attacking Romney's ties to Bain and his personal finances. He's taken advantage of uh, every single conceivable attack, shelter, loophole. Mr. Romney attested to the SEC uh, multiple times that he was the chairman, CEO, and president of Bain Capital. That company also uh, was investing in companies that the Washington Post called pioneers of outsourcing. If you're telling the SEC that you're in charge, but you're telling the American people that you bear no responsibility, one of those things is not true. Stop whining. Defend, if you want to claim Bain Capital is your calling card to the White House, then defend what happened to Bain Capital and what happened and to those jobs that went overseas, those jobs that were actually cut and eliminated. I don't want a pioneer in outsourcing. I want some insourcing. I want to bring companies back. Well, the attacks continued on paper as well. Virtually all the press releases and statements they issued on Saturday and Sunday hammered Romney on those fronts. The Obama campaign also released a new attack ad. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray, for purple mountains, majesty. Above the fruited plain. In a moment, we'll talk with Paul Begala and Ari Fleischer. But first, David Axelrod, a senior strategist for the Obama campaign. I talked to him earlier. David, I want to ask you something that the president said in an interview that aired this morning on CBS. I want to play that for our viewers. First of all, we've done a, a whole slew of positive ads that talk exactly about how we need to change our education system, how we need to change our tax code, how we need to rebuild America, uh, how we need to uh, promote American energy. So those just don't get attention in the news. The consultants who, who track ad spending for us tell us the last week your campaign aired negative spots more than 19,000 times and positive spots fewer than 150 times. That's less than 1% positive ads. Can that really be considered a slew? Well, Anderson, you got to go back to when we began our media campaign. We began our media campaign uh, in May, the whole month of May, we ran uh, nothing but uh, positive ads. Right now we're running ads, uh, some of which are comparative. I don't know how the tracker, uh, how the tractor characterizes them. Some are comparative on their respective records on, uh, on taxes, and, and some uh, are on uh, elements of, of Governor Romney's record. Uh, but. Uh, we've been uh, we've been very great. We spent tens and tens of million, fifty million dollars or more on positive ads. In contrast, you look at the other side, and ninety percent of their media dollars from the very beginning have been spent 
on negative ads. The whole premise of the Romney campaign is a negative premise. Three quarters of the ads from the beginning have been negative or characterized as negative. Three quarters in, of, in, your in, ads. of their campaign. No, of your uh, campaign. Of their campaign, or, or well, that's 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 we can have that discussion. I'm, I I can we can go over that, but. I also would invite you to go out, and you guys ran some of the president's uh, speech today. The president's campaigning all over this country, talking about how we rebuild the middle class in this country, how we rebuild the uh, economy, about education and re revitalizing American manufacturing, and all the things that we need to do uh, to uh, to build uh, uh, to build our economy in a way that gives people a chance. The tone of this debate has come under criticism. Jen Psaki, uh, an Obama campaign spokeswoman, said over the weekend that the president wants a, a highbrow debate about, quote, what the American people actually care about. The same day, your campaign released a brutal spot featuring Mitt Romney singing America the Beautiful off-key. Does that qualify as, as highbrow or something American people really care about? I think what they do care about, Anderson, is are we going to have a tax code that encourages outsourcing? That's what Governor Romney uh, supports. He has a history uh, in this area. Or are we going to support uh, insourcing and, and end those tax breaks and, and reward folks for creating jobs here in America? That's what the uh, president supports. Are we going to spend $100 billion a year on offshore tax shelters of the sort that Governor Romney has availed himself of? Or are we going to uh, use that money for better purposes? These are the discussions we're going to have moving forward, and the perspective you bring to it is important. Is it just a coincidence, though, that these Bain attacks really came about after some very bad job numbers came out uh, about two weeks ago? Anderson, I, I actually think, and you may have even talked about it on your show, uh, we've, we've raised issues about, uh, about Bain, and let me tell you, uh, long before these last couple of weeks, and let me tell you why. The only credential that Governor Romney's offering for the presidency is his business experience. Never talks about the fact that he was governor of Massachusetts, and with some good reason, because that record wasn't exactly a, a glittering record of job creation. Uh, so he talks about the fact that he's a businessman, and he has great insights into the economy as a result. And so, of course, we're going to look at what that business experience is, and we, we began that, uh, taking a look at that as soon as he became uh, the nominee. It, this isn't something new. It's part of the discussion. He entered it into the discussion, and now we're engaging in that discussion. And he says, wait a second, don't talk about my business experience. So he can talk about his business experience, but he doesn't want us to talk about his business experience. Your campaign has even said Romney may be guilty of a felony. He's demanded an apology for that. I know you made it clear there's no apology coming. At this point, though, is there enough evidence out there to, to really make that claim? And, and no one really made that claim, Anderson. What's, what, uh, what Stephanie Cutter said uh, was that if, in fact, you file papers as he did back in 99 through 2002, saying you're the chairman, chief executive, president, and sole uh, uh, shareholder of a company, uh, but now you're arguing that you had nothing to do with the uh, with the activities of that company, then it raises questions about that filing, or it raises questions about what you're saying now. As I, I said yesterday uh, uh, to Candy Crowley, uh, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. I think he's misleading people now. Uh, but uh, either way, it's not a recommendation to make a guy president of the United States. Uh, I want to ask you something uh, that uh, uh, about uh, something that, that a Bush advisor, Mark McKinnon, who worked on uh, his re-election campaign uh, eight years ago had to say about this race. He said, Team Obama is doing just what we did in 2004, which is to define the opposition furiously and early. Most voters don't have a deep sense of Romney, other than that he's not Obama, and in this cycle that may be enough, but it's a very risky approach. He's not the only one making a comparison. Are there real parallels, in your opinion, between what the Bush campaign did to John Kerry and what your team is doing to Mitt Romney right now, basically trying to define him based on what's considered by his campaign a strength? No, uh, because what the uh, what was done back then was to take a guy who was a uh, certified war hero uh, and to suggest uh, that somehow he wasn't, uh, and that was grossly unfair. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is that Governor Romney has a background uh, and an approach and a set of policies uh, that are far different than uh, the ones the president supports. Uh, we are very much for policies that are going to boost the middle class. We believe in building this economy from the middle class out. He believes in a top-down approach, and, it's, and it flows from his experience and the lens through which uh, he sees this economy. And so uh, that's very much fair game. I wouldn't say it's the same at all. But let me just add one thing, uh, Anderson, and that is uh, one of the reasons why uh, 
uh, Mark notes, as Mark notes, that people don't really know Governor Romney, even though he's run for president twice, is because he's never told them uh, who he is, he's never told them what motivates him, he's never put his own experience uh, into any kind of framework that people could uh, appreciate. And the, the real question is to address that campaign. Why do they feel that simply running negative ad ads against the president from the beginning was sufficient? Uh, David Ockford, I appreciate your time. Thank you.